English is a compulsory subject in a secondary school in our country. So my English learning began from a very first day of school. Probably you know that the learning English has a lot of benefits in our country. It can provide you with a better job if you speak English fluently. It can let you gain more and more knowledge for studying English. That's why the English is a common language and you can use it to become an international citizen. So learning English is a good way to communicate to foreigners. Besides, many companies need a good office employees to do some international business. So back in 2008 or 9, so I was an average English student. I had uh, problems with basic grammar and my pronunciation was very bad at that time. And I'd been in, in English classes for several years, but I still was not satisfied with my progress. So I realized that I needed to start learning the language on my own. Up until then, so my main language activities were memorizing list of uh, random individual words and doing some grammar exercises. And of course, we also did some reading and listening in, in class. But the problem was that the most of the time, the topics were boring and I was not really keen on hearing about them. From time to time, we would play a game, but most of the games had one purpose, to get us to learn a list of words. And of course, they were no fun either. So after a few years of English classes, I knew some more or less, you know, useful vocabulary and a couple of grammar rules, but I could hardly speak and I made lots of mistakes in my writing. So I decided to start reading in English. I began with simplified books from the Penguin Reader series, which helped me to increase my vocabulary. And you know what I, not I noticed that I actually, I noted each new word in a, in, a, in a notebook and I was explaining them using different dictionaries. And I felt that my vocabulary was growing quickly, but my English was still very poor. So my writing had improved a bit, but I still had problems with listening and speaking. So I decided to listen uh, to English podcasts a lot. Of course, I couldn't understand the words, so I downloaded the subtitles of my favorite podcasts and I learned them. And gradually, my listening skills began to improve. Moreover, I was chatting on the internet with my friends in English, so this has also helped me a lot. Right now, I can't say yet that I speak English like a native speaker, but by far, but I'm trying and would love to speak it um, as fluently as the native speakers. And actually learning English is an ongoing process and I'm still learning.